period. Well, Chris, here's a video. Brendan, Margaret. another one. Brendan, first of all, now before we do anything, can I congratulate you on your fantastic achievement of three hundred thousand euros and seven hundred donated to cancer charities. We call them, I suppose, and cancer, cancer research, cancer care in Kerry. Like yeah. Do a lot of fellas know you, Brendan? What three hundred and what you say? Three hundred thousand and seven hundred. Brilliant. Do you know it is a massive achievement? Yes. And do you know what fair pay to you, Brendan? Yes, it is. And if That's anyone right. wants to look it up, if it is trashing cancer. That's it. Facebook page. That's it. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. That's Brilliant. That's it. We've another York here. David Brown seven fifty. That fellas might say there was never a David Brown seven fifty. Don't forget. Yes. Not implematic. No, farmatic. No. Farmatic. What is a farmatic, first of all? Ah, sure, look, it's just another name that David Brown put on to it or whatever. Um, I mean, the, 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 they changed the brand as they upgraded their tractors. Yeah. But this thing um, was made in Germany, and Germany only. All oh, right, okay, yes, they weren't built in the UK, so no. no. they were not, no, 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 no. They were made in Germany. Now, whether it was under license from David Brown or not, I am not certain about that, but yeah. that David Brown did not build these for the German market like they did the 775. Yes. Um, they built the 775 specifically for the German market, uh, but the uh, 750 was built in Germany. You have um, the... Um, 
David Brown engine. Yeah. David Brown front axle. David Brown bonnet. Uh, steering system, throttle system, uh, clutch, all David Brown. You have a ZF gearbox. All right, okay. Which is one of the best gearbox in the world. Yes. And this is one of the first tractors that ZF put gearboxes into. Oh. And uh, you have um, a ZF back axle mm -hmm. and you have a Bosch lift pump. So she's, she's the same so as far as the, the steering wheel, David Brown. From the steering wheel out, it's David, David Brown. Brown. Yeah. And who built it? Um, they were built by a company called Wall. Okay. W-A-H-L. Yeah. And Wall went off making their own tractors after. So, um, and the Wall's still there? I don't know. I'm not sure. Right, okay. We can be sure, somebody. Somebody might leave it in the comments that it's there, they are there, not there. Uh, yeah, I don't know, and I'm not going to say it. Um, yeah. All I can tell you is that there was just slightly over two hundred of these made. Two hundred of them. That's all. Slightly over, I think. They'd be very, very rare. They'd so be very, very rare. I presume, like other tractors, what um, left in the briars and um, yeah, what were. Um, Donors to other tractors down yes. the line, maybe are scrapped for various reasons. So they are quite scarce. There's quite a lot of people when I told them about a 750, and um, yes. people that knew all about David Brown's, which I'm not being disrespectful to them. Of course, they knew yeah. all about David Brown's, but they're the ones they met, and they didn't know about the one that they didn't meet. So to have two of them, so Brendan, a man would be very lucky, would you? To have two of them, a man would be very and lucky. Do you know anyone that has two of them, Brendan? I do. <laughs> 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 Fair play to you, well aware yeah. to you, Brendan. Yeah. Yeah. Well, in actual fact, when I bought it, um, there was two of them in the one yard. Yeah. And yeah. so I said, Do you want to sell one or do you want to sell? He says, I thought about selling one, but your luck, we might as well. Yeah. And uh, I like to have the two because, you know, you always have spares. You always have spares. And is the other one as good as this one? The other one is as good as this one, it is indeed. Yeah. Um, it starts, it drives, everything. Brilliant. Obviously, they both need a little bit of TLC. But um, look, I, That's might, okay. That's... I might put a watch on this and leave it alone because if yeah. I ever sold it, some people like it the way it was originally. Yeah. And uh, more people like to do them up to the nines. And uh, I'll just leave it as it is and... See what happens from there. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, I, I'm just looking there, Brendan. There's a thing here, kind of a pulley. Yeah, that would be for the side mowing machine. All oh, right, she okay. Had a side mowing machine with her, and um, that was for leaving up and down the mower oh, right. for and, cutting and idling. And do you have the mower? I have the mower. Oh, you have the mower. I Brilliant. The mower, yeah. And who made the mower? You don't that know. I can't tell you. Yeah, it's not that a David Brown mower. Like. Right, but I presume it could be a company, like, because there'd be yeah. companies out there making mowing machines in Germany Yeah. for various tractors. Yeah, it's not a David Brown mower, no. I wouldn't probably think not. so. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't, yeah. Think, I, I wouldn't know, but I wouldn't think so. She also has, which is very, very nice, her original seat and her original cover. Oh, yeah. You know, so that's that's nice to have that. Yeah. No, she's again. And is she 6 volt or 12 volt? Oh, she's 12. And she's looking at you two batteries, that's why I asked that, yeah. She's 12. But if you go to the um, early David Browns, the 850 and the 950, they had a cross box and they had two batteries. They had, yeah, I had one, I had an 850, yeah, yeah, that's right, yeah. They had. Yeah. So, um... Brilliant. I would say this then, um, you're saying the engine and all that, I presume, is it the same engine that would have been in the 850s, I wonder, probably? Which is a, um, um, a shop stroke engine. And what year is this? I'm not sure. I do have the paperwork for it, but um, I suppose late 50s, early 60s yeah. or something. You know, whenever your 770 was about. It was the 770 the then? The red yeah, the red, I was going to say the red 770, yeah. You know, I shouldn't yeah. know more about it, but um, that's about all I have on it. I do, I do, have, a, I do have, believe it or not, um, uh, Registration book for it. Oh, very good. I see there she does a text disc on it, or is it on yeah. the other? Yeah. But um, so all the paraphernalia would be in that. 
Yeah. And you know, I have read it, but I have forgotten. Yeah. And of course, behind you, Brendan, we have your 303 John Deere. 303 John Deere, yeah, that's uh, unusual in herself as well. But they were made in France as a vineyard tractor, as you can see, she's quite narrow. Yeah. Uh, but the unusual thing, they're the only tractor, as far as I know, open to contradiction, that uh, when they were, the fact that they were made in France, they had to carry something that was conducive to France, and so she has a standard engine. Oh, oh, standard French. Same as the uh, 20 diesel. All oh, right, standard okay. Standard engine. And it's the only thing I think that um, John Deere ever allowed into their tractors at the modern their own. Of course, that time the standard engine was probably being put into tractors in France with the Ferguson factory. I'd only assume so, but yeah. look, I'd be open to contradiction yeah. on that too. But she has a kind of, kind of, if you look up a John Deere 303. Yeah. Um... You won't forget it because it's the same as the rifle. Yes, the oh yeah, the 303 rifle, yeah. yeah. So um, you'll find out it was made in France and you'll find out that from uh, it left the factory with a standard, standard engine. Brilliant. Actually, we made a video of it driving around the yard, remember, about a year and a half ago? Yes. So I might put that down below in the description if anyone wants to see it. Yeah, no, a fabulous looking tractor. Again, Brendan, it kind of a rare enough tractor, I presume. It would be because, you see, they only made tractors in France, John Deere, for a very short time. Oh, and right, then they okay. And into um, a parts factory. Oh, right, okay. okay so they, okay, they, okay. they had actually a factory in France and a factory in Spain. Oh, they did? And the factory in France only lasted something with months. Oh, okay. And it, they decided against manufacturing tractors and turned it into, as far as I can remember, to a parts Okay, very good. Um, manufacturing. And all the rest of it is John Deere, bar The rest there. of it is John Deere. All thing all along the back to the same John Deere and um, uh, uh, everything. Brilliant. Brilliant. So, yeah. And she's completely original, Brendan, I presume. Oh, she is. She is. The one thing I that's a little bit um, roughish is the front grill. And the yeah, front grill is basically mesh. And uh, they often fell off or, you know, got damaged or whatever. Yeah. And uh, so I might try and source one for her somewhere if I can. I presume it's the same kind of front grille that would be in another John Deere. It would wouldn't... be the same as the one you can see over there on the 200. All right, okay, yeah. Just... We can, we can do that. You Let's can see around. over there, do you see the 200? Come on, come on. Yeah. Yeah, it should be the same grill as that. And of course, people are going to ask, oh, Brendan, what's the red tractor? The red tractor where? Here, with the green wheels. Oh, the red tractor there, that's a winget. Same crowd as the dumpers? Same crowd as the dumpers and the mixers. Right. And, um, yeah, they were made for a short time as well. She's unique enough now because she has her own wheel weights and everything. Oh, right, okay, so, yeah. And a loader. I see there's a loader. A loader always. and all, they had their own loader and, um, yeah, I like that. Yeah. She's small. I, I, she's a little bit too small for me. Yeah, but you look. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. Oh, well, where's your Brendan? Thank you. Like I said, the David Brown, if anyone is out there with a, Dave, a 750, let us know. A 750 Farmatic. Yeah. Yeah. Built in Germany Built by Wall. Built in Germany by Wall. Yeah. And uh, I will give you, if I already haven't, a mm -hmm. bit of paraphernalia. Oh, because yes. I think I have a sales. Yeah, on a this tractor. A brochure. Brilliant. A brochure that was advertising them day one as a, as a, as a um, tractor. And did Walls go on to build their own tractors after? So they did, Wall yeah. went on to build their own tractors after, but how long they lasted? No, I cannot tell you that. Yeah. Yeah. No? So. Okay, Brendan. Thank you. No bother, Mark. And well, where to? Thank you. Cheers, Brendan. Period. Well, great.